Hi everyone, welcome to the frequency domain. Today we are going to perform an EM simulation on our micro ester blow pass filter using open circuit at the stops. We we'll start by clicking on the layout menu and then generate layout. Here is our layout and it looks like as we expected before. First we add two ports at both ends. Then we have to create an EM setup. On the EM setup menu, let's go to the substrate, where you can set the material and thickness for the substrate and conductor layers. Since we are using the same workspace as our last project, it has already contains the right values and we are not going to change anything. If you have questions with this section, please check our video on EM simulation of a stepped impedance filter. For the port calibration this time, let's use the TML calibration. If you use this type of calibration in your simulation, it means that the filter is supposed to connect to micro strip transmission lines in its input and output. Like when your filter is a part of a bigger micro strip network, and let's say that it connects at the input to another micro strip filter, and at the output it connects to a micro strip power combiner. For the frequency plan, we need the response to 30 GHz at best. And on the option menu, we will proceed with the default number for the number of mesh cell per wavelength. Now we are ready to save the simulation setup and hit the run button. As expected, it has almost 10 GHz bandwidth and around 30 dB of attenuation at 20 GHz. Now, someone might say that 70 micrometers for the width of the open circuit at the stop is not really practical, and it's true. So we can redesign the filter using a substrate with higher dielectric constant or higher thickness, or we can perform some optimization and set the minimum width to 100 micrometers, which is more practical. But just for a try, let's see what happens if we just change the width of our narrowest stop from 70 to 100 micrometers without any further optimization. And we can also add another correction factor for the 3 dB bandwidth frequency. Now we should generate the layout again and run the simulation once more. As you can see the results are pretty the same and no damage has done. Remember that you can always perform optimization to tailor the frequency response of your filter. Thank you all for watching this video, we are hoping you find the video useful. And please share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. If you like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and you're welcome to subscribe the channel for more videos. Good luck and see you next time.